are you excited? <laughs> Forgive my appearance, it's Christmas Eve 2022. Uh, obviously I showered and put my hair in curlers and uh, that's in preparation for the festivities tonight. So, welcome to my weight challenge. Um, if you are new, just a little bit of history. I go absolutely crazy, crazy on Christmas Eve. I decorate, I cook all day. Um, I'm usually, <laughs> by 8.30 at night, we usually eat and by the time I sit down, I'm completely and utterly exhausted. I love every second of it. So it's a several course meal <clears throat> uh, with multiple desserts and cheeses. I'm gonna give you the menu, um, table setting, you name it. I start early. Uh, I usually make cookies, then I set the table, then I start cooking the meal. Um, but I go really crazy. In my family, um, growing up, Christmas Eve has always been the biggest day of the year. It's the day where we would have most of the family over and visiting. We spend Christmas usually with uh, family members and cousins. So the house was always very busy. Mom and grandma were always at the stove the entire time. Mom paid attention to decoration and like every little detail was put together. So I have that in me. It's part of my history that Christmas Eve is the most important day of the year uh, for many reasons, not just for family, but also clearly for religious reason. So it's a big deal. <laughs> and I make a big deal out of it. So, uh, if you are not new and you know what to expect, um, it's gonna be even more grandiose and hopefully spectacular this year because I'm doing something a little bit different for the uh, table. Um, I mean, like, really different. The table theme this year, I've mentioned in earlier videos, is going to be Peacock and it's all gonna be in peacock colors, white and gold. Um, I'm super excited. Anyway, um, let me get a sip of my piping hot tea. I'm probably gonna have something like seven of those today. Um, since I significantly reduced my caffeine intake, I'm now almost solely on tea. That's all right, I love it. Um, the menu, let's talk about the menu. The usual, smoked salmon, duck mousse, oysters, caviar for um, introduction and appetizers, I guess. This year, the main course is mashed potatoes, asparagus, and duck. I am going to roast a duck this year. Um, I haven't, I think I've done two ducks my entire life. This is the second one. So we'll see how that comes out. Uh, I'm hopefully it's nice and crispy on the outside. Um, I was gonna do quails, but they were too small. You know, I mean, there's not a lot. And so you would need like three quails per person. It was just too much money. Um, I'd rather put the money in the caviar, which is ridiculous. I know, I know. Priorities are kind of weird here, okay? I have to have, it's not even real caviar. It's the uh, whatever eggs, um, it's fake caviar. Tastes like it though. <laughs> Uh, and then we have a cheese platter. So the cheeses, I have the, uh, a goat brie, there's a blue cheese, uh, and then there's two hard uh, cheeses. One I think is a, well, let me see. Uh, which one is that? Because I was kind of excited about this one too. Oh, it's a Fontina d'Aosta. Italy. Um, so I got cheeses and then the dessert is a Yule log which I made last night and I'm going to insert this here so you get to see me making the Yule log. Um, it looks really good. I The rolling it kind of broke when I was rolling it it was a little bit too cooked um, and sticky and I usually put a syrup with rum in it. I just left it alone. But what I did this year is that I, I, I added, what I did this year was add uh, Nutella to it. So it's Nutella and dark chocolate and then rolled in and shaped like a log. So we'll see. Um, I hope it's good, but it does look really good. So I'm gonna insert that now. 
and what I'm gonna do when I come back is start on my centerpiece because I need to do the star cookies, the Stellini Doros, but my butter is not at room temperature. We're gonna give the butter a little bit more time. So pretty much all you're gonna see me do today is uh, bake, cook, decorate, and have a good time. I'm so looking forward to today. I'm insane, I really am. Okay, um, inserting right now what I did last night with the Yule Log, and I'm gonna go outside with my scissors, grab some greeneries from the um, Evergreens, and start working on my centerpiece. I'm so excited. centerpiece I'm reusing this I'm gonna put it on the plate because I finally got the real foam um, and it contained a lot of that greenery here and I bought it for like nine bucks it was a, a box that had greenery and the pine cone that I put on the um, Yuletide uh, log uh, and I only purchased it for the foam because I can't find this foam. 
my Joanne only has the dry foam. It doesn't have the wet one. Okay. So this is the foam that you can add water to. To keep your stuff nice and fresh. So I'm going to put some here. For next year, let me add a little bit of water. Ready to rock and roll. tweaking and what I'm doing right now is removing the length of ribbon and instead of cutting them in smaller pieces and I'm just going to tuck them here and there you know like this because you can't see the um, brass design and that's just too much I'm starting with my cookies um, since the centerpiece is done, and I do the same cookies every year. I show it to you every year. It's from this book, Jingle, The Christmas Clown, uh, by Tony Di Paola. And at the end of it, there's the Stellini Doro cookies. And I've been making this particular recipe for years. I think since 2004 I've been making this every year for Christmas Eve um, I probably have the full recipe in other videos that I did for Christmas Eve so I'm not gonna repeat it this is pretty filthy um, 
but the secret ingredient is orange water and saffron um, so the frosting on top of it is you add confectioner sugar to that um, it makes it golden in color but it's saffron for the color and orange water which is one of my favorites so I'm just gonna cream my sugar and butter here and make the cookies the good thing about them is that you put them in the fridge you put the dough in the fridge I think for an hour let me see yeah one hour it's got to go in the fridge for at least an hour so during that hour I will uh, set the table and I can't wait I can't wait
So here we go. <laughs> this is uh, Christmas decor and tablescape for 2022. And uh, mom <laughs> loves it. She thinks it's absolutely stunning. And I have to agree. So um, what's really different? Not much. The only thing I purchased this year was these. They are um, plastic chargers. And I was discussing on Patreon the other day, because they got a preview of all of that, that I wish it was a true teal. It's not really, um, it's missing green. So I was thinking, ah, eh, maybe I should have gotten that in gold, but whatever. And all I did really, uh, well, no, that's not true, because I bought these. These were like $1.20 each um, on Amazon. They're regular napkins. Uh, these are my regular um, Christmas napkin rings. I just put a piece of ribbon and a um, peacock feather. The green I got outside. And then the two peacocks here um, were gifts from Jamie. And I just got them right on time. <laughs> Doesn't it look cool? So what I did, um, and you'll see it again at night, is that I put one of those little filament string of light underneath the cloth so that way it doesn't look like a big uh, dark blob <laughs> but it doesn't I mean yeah it's red over there and blue over here but that's all right it looks beautiful beautiful with the mantle uh, and you see that I got plenty of uh, whatchamacallit uh, sunshine coming in oh, this is so cool really really love it so you get to see the Christmas decor um, in daylight I still have a few things you know here and there that I gotta pick up uh, oh I gotta replug this yeah that's much better um, because I used the plug for the iron uh, but yeah here it is so I think this is my best one and I say that every year I don't know how I'm going to <laughs> top this one next year I have to think about something and I, I kid you not okay when I tell you I think about this all year this is what I do when I daydream in my car on my way to work I start thinking about tablescape um, Christmas decor and how I'm going to put stuff together for Christmas Eve and um, this worked out the tablecloth might be a little too white but this worked out love it and I hope you love it too guess who's got to make cookies now me
So here we go, an entire plate of Stellini Doro, ready for Christmas. It's exactly three o'clock. Um, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna take a break. And around four, I'm gonna start uh, dinner. Plenty of time to roast the duck. I'll start with the duck, uh, roast the duck. While it's in the oven, I'll make the mashed potatoes. Um, I have to open the oysters, you know, I mean like little things. Um, super on time. And then I gotta do my hair <laughs> and makeup. Um, I know I look ridiculous and I don't care. Um, that's behind the scene, you know, no big deal. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Yay! I'm going to start the duck oven at 400. This is... Huh? The mail came. Unfortunately, my thing did not. Oh, don't worry about it, Willie. I'm not upset. It can still come in late. I know. And I have one more of yours that didn't show up, so we even. Okay, <laughs> um, this is a six pound duck. I'm going to roast it, but I'm gonna make an orange sauce to go all over it. Now, my understanding with duck, that you gotta prick the skin to release the fat, uh, but not you don't want to touch the meat, you just prick the top. And then you cook it this way for 45 minutes, and then you gotta flip it for another 45 minutes, and you gotta flip it again. And then once it's cooked, you gotta let it rest um, because it's game, right? I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very dark meat. I love dark. So this is gonna be delicious, um, but I have to wash it first. I'm going to fill the cavity with a little bit of stuffing. Uh, it's not for food. We're not going to eat it. It's just to keep it from drying um, from the inside out. So I have some rosemary from the garden. I'm going to add onions to it. Some celery. I have fresh stuffing. And then a little bit of chicken broth. Tiny bit of salt, tiny bit of pepper. Again, we're not eating this. This is just to flavor it and keep the cavity uh, moist. Pepper. Off it goes, 45 minutes, then I flip it, prick the skin, 45 minutes, flip it again, prick the skin to release the, uh, the fat. Um, this is probably going to take about two and a half hours altogether. That's the duck sizzling. <laughs> okay, that's been rinsed. I know what let me use. Let's start the mashed potatoes and after that what I'll do is uh, start the appetizers.
Okay. It's been 45 minutes. I'm going to pull it out. I gotta prick the skin again. It's been another 45 minutes. I'm going to pull the duck out. Flip it again. I gotta prick the skin again. I don't know if you can see the fat coming out. You don't want to take the too much fat off the leg here. Did you know you can make a ton of stuff with the duck fat? I actually had uh, bread that was made with duck fat and roasted garlic. It was absolutely amazing. Um, all I have to do now is the sauce, the asparagus, and prep the oysters. And do you know what time it is? It's 6 p.m. <laughs> this is the earliest ever that I'm done. And I kept the kitchen clean, everything is done, other than, you know, asparagus is going to take no time whatsoever. Um, the sauce is going to be delicious, but the sauce, I'm going to make it when the duck is resting. So in 30 minutes, I'll pull it out of the oven, I will cover it with aluminum foil, and I'm going to let it rest. Uh, like most game uh, meat, you're supposed to let it rest. So it'll stay on the stove for 30 minutes. Um, and then when it's done, after 30 minutes, I'll put the sauce over it, put it in a nice platter. Um, during that 30 minutes, yeah, I'll make the sauce. And then I'll open my oysters. The asparagus are gonna be super, super fast. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna make mushrooms. Cover it with aluminum foil and it has to rest. 
I'm going to make an orange sauce for the duck. I have three quarter of a cup of brown sugar, the zest of a whole orange, three quarter of a cup of orange juice, and one tablespoon of butter. Okay, duck sauce. So, brown sugar, orange juice, butter, and orange zest. And you let it cook and melt. It's gonna take about 10-15 minutes until it has the consistency of pancake syrup. Here's the duck after it's rested and I'm gonna dip my brush in my syrup and I'm going to coat the whole duck with it and whatever I have left I'll put it to the side and anybody who wants extra sauce can enjoy it. It's gone? You see that? What? That's duck fat. Oh yeah? I'm using it to cook your omelette tomorrow. Is that supposed to be a good thing? Oh yeah. So, here are the asparagus. Same thing, I'm gonna cover them. And now, the only thing I have to do is the oysters. It's 7.02. This is the earliest I've done this, Scott. Uh -huh. oh, we gotta be able to make it on time for church. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You having coffee? A small one. Well, I'm having a beer. Oh, I might have a beer. So. To offset the coffee. To offset. You want one too? Yeah, sure. Of course, yellow jacket. So I'm gonna do the oysters. Uh, it's gonna take ten minutes. Yeah. It was cold outside. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, poor baby. Do you want to keep this for pictures? Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to change. Um, and then we're going to take pictures for about a half an hour, you know, from every angle and stuff. And then we're going to start eating. Hey, cheers to the earliest Christmas Eve ever. Stress-free. Oh, I like it. Tastes like the 80s. It's light. Yeah, it's light. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad for a beer. I shouldn't drink out of the bottle. Why? Because it's not proper. It says who? It says who? Etiquette says who. There we go. This is a nice beer. Do you think Beth Dutton refuses to drink out of the bottle? We're in Jersey, okay? A dinner like this with duck and everything and then drink beer out of the bottle. It's nice. Yeah. I have no business drinking it. It doesn't taste like water for course, you know. It's... No, it's really good. I like it. Alright, we tried the yellow jacket. Let me chuck my uh, oysters. And when I come back, I'll say goodbye.
refer to oysters that you do want to rinse them. And don't worry, it's not going to remove um, the salty water because it's going to start excreting more of the salty water that's already in there. Okay, well, um, I'm put together and I'm matching my tiny 
waiting room. Okay, so what do I have? I found this at Goodwill <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's got the padding from the 80s. I love it. Um, I have a uh, red blouse on and pearls. Did my hair and then my apron is on. <laughs> So I'm all matchy matchy. I'm super happy. It's not even eight o'clock and we're gonna sit down and I'm going to relax and eat slow and enjoy the moment. Um, Willie, we ready? Sure. Are you hungry? A little. I am starving. I barely ate anything all day so that I could just binge all evening long. Folks, thank you for your support all year long. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with your family and your loved ones and Happy New Year. Scott, Hi. Quick, quick message. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah. I'll see you, um, well this video is probably, you're still nursing that? Um, some of us don't hork it down, you know. <laughs> oh nice. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I will see you probably when we take Christmas down. When are we taking that down? Uh, I it's guess next week. Next weekend. Uh, all right. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and my decor and my meal. Um, effortless this time around. I'm not even tired. <laughs> Let's give it a little bit. <laughs> give it a little bit. My feet are hurting though. My feet are hurting. All right. Merry Christmas everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.